Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the stiffness of the material. In this lecture we are going to define the stiffness and the two main types of the stiffness that is the axial stiffness and the bending stiffness. So first to define the stiffness. The stiffness can be defined as it is the ratio of the force to the unit displacement. To the unit displacement. Or we can also define the stiffness. It is the resistance, uh, it is the ability of resistance uh, to the deflection. We call this type, this property of the material is the stiffness. So it means that it is directly proportional to the force and in inverse relation with the unit displacement. So uh, the more stiff material, it means the more stiff material, it means the more force it required to produce unit displacement. And the less stiff material, it means uh, the less force required to produce a unit displacement. So the, it shows the relation with the displacement. Uh, if a material shows displacement with the less force, it is a less stiff material. And when a, when a material shows more more, less displacement with a more force, it means it is more stiff material. So it shows uh, the ability of a material to resist the deformation or displacement or deflection. So now to discuss the two main types of the stiffness. So now coming to the types of the stiffness, there are two main types of the stiffness. One is the axial stiffness, axial stiffness, and the another one is the bending stiffness, and sometimes it's also called as the flexural stiffness. The axial stiffness is predominant in the trusses because in trusses we have only axial forces. That's why we are interested and this probably predominant in the axial. Uh, members because the axial represent the uh, forces which are predominant in the trusses. The second one is the bending stiffness, which is predominant in the beam because the beam is a bending or the flexural member. So, uh, axial stiffness can be defined as uh, the force required, force required to produce to produce unit displacement we call as the, the force required to produce unit displacement, we call this type of the stiffness as the axial stiffness. It may be the compressive force, it may be the tensile force, but it should produce unit displacement. So this type of uh, stiffness we call as the axial stiffness, and the axial stiffness uh, um, has a formula of Ea and dividing by L. Well, uh, where E is the modulus of elasticity of the material, a is the area of the cross section and L is the length of the member. While coming to the bending stiffness, uh, in the case of the bending stiffness, uh, it is the force, uh, it is the movement required. In the case of the bending stresses, it is the movement required to produce to produce unit rotation. So this type of stiffness we call as the bending stiffness or the flexural stiffness. So the bending stiffness is equal to the uh, EI dividing by L where uh, A is being replaced by the I where I is the moment of inertia, A is the modulus of elasticity and is the length of the member. So this is called the bending stressor. So in both the cases uh, there is a unit, di di unit displacement and the unit rotation in both the cases. While in the case of axial force, we have the force required, uh, axial stiffness. While in the case of the bending stiffness, we have the moment required to produce that unit rotation. So this was all about the stiffness of the material. And I will upload more videos related to the civil engineering. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.